today is a really good day. This event happens once a year. I get to film for my MMA clients and it's a couple blocks away from my apartment in downtown. So I just get to walk. From my experience, living near a hub has just made it easier to get jobs, to get clients. I just had a call with someone who said, how close are you to Orlando? And I said, downtown. And he goes, great, because we have people who say Orlando and then we see a line item for travel on their quote. And it's just one less barrier to jump over in the hiring process. There's no easy way to attach this tripod to my bag, so just did a little DIY. This is gonna make my job so much easier tonight. So normally we have a table and then my tripod goes behind the table. This time, no table, so I can bring the lens that much closer to here and blur this chain link out even more because every inch that I'm further back, this just becomes more prominent and more prominent. So picking your location would be a big decision, but my mind is actually drawn more towards the smaller issues, the intricacies. That's why you see me troubleshoot so many small gear problems. I like tinkering with, with those small technical details. For this one, you can see my external monitor is brought back and that's why I created that articulation mount as such so that I could bring it closer to my eyes. The microphone is just being adjusted a few inches back and that is so I can be as close to the fence as possible and I can clear it when I tilt and when I pan. And that is a fortunate situation to be in because I know there is a lot of traffic, a lot of tourism events that are gonna come through this established area. So I can focus on the smaller things. And as I look back, I can see that a lot of my progression has come from these micro adjustments. Adjustments that I cannot put on a line item, uh, adjustments that really I'm the only one who sees, but it helps me do my job easier. So. After I can tackle those big issues like location, pricing, marketing, general skill level, then I can work on tweaking things. So 18 dB. But focusing on the micro problems is a double-edged sword. While it does help you sharpen those small points, you may be leaving out the real problems and i come across that a lot when i have consultation calls and people are very gear specific or um, they're just focusing on something that doesn't have a ton of roi and it's hard to break it to them but there is just an order of what will have the most effect and usually it's not the fun stuff for example, right now I'm editing these vlogs and looking at what gear I need to purchase for my documentary efforts. But what I should be doing is writing that proposal to the art of documentary so that they can sponsor my national filmmaker meetup tour. Okay, this was round one, second one, and it was over that quickly. That guy didn't even get to like display any of the stuff that he had learned over the last few months. That is a tough situation because I see that happen a lot. That means I frequently have to check myself on what I'm occupying my time with. Is this going to have the amount of return for the amount of time I'm spending on it? That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. And now we walk through downtown Orlando on a Saturday night with a bunch of camera gear. Should be fun. This is a weird week. We just had a hurricane. We got another one coming. Jobs are up in the air. But I did have some time for a consultation call with Xavier. And we were talking about how he is in the corporate world of videography, but wanting to pivot into a more specific sector. And I think that is a 
very, very valuable decision to take. So we were working on what is the marketing routes and client acquisition routes that he can take. And I love these calls. I think they are genuinely beneficial for both parties to engage in this free-flowing, authentic, business-level conversations. However, they do take up time. I'm thinking of limiting it to two calls a month and upping the price but right now they are 125 an hour i know we ran a little bit over yeah i, I appreciate, man, I appreciate you yeah, for yeah. even running over with me yeah, brother no worries. And, you know your energy is always cool man I'm, i am going to book one more with you well that was some really fun hurricane work that i was able to do i would love to push more into that adventure side i love the controlled corporate work but as you know, I'm trying to position myself as the in-the-field documentary DP guy. So to help with that effort, I have a bunch of gear coming. Um, and I'm going to go through all of it, why I picked it, how it will help, and show some mock setups of it. Um, but for now, just packing up. Got some work in South Florida this weekend. I get a ton of organic networking from this YouTube channel. So John, who was coming down to Orlando from Atlanta was here for a certain job. The hurricane postponed that job and he was able to tell his news contacts, I'm available for storm coverage. So that's what he did. Afterwards, we had some time to meet up and it was just really cool to hear how someone else is making a transition, moving from news coverage into being the DP for a TV show and seeing the kind of the behind the scenes perspective of what does a two month project entail as far as uh, scheduling, resetting, what gear you can bring. Um, congrats, John. The, the project came out great, and uh, you can go watch it now on Oxygen. And then on to a quote-unquote business meeting with Adam where we talk about home ownership, trying to grow our business, getting a production company versus becoming a DP, and a hot topic of conversation, why we still haven't bought Sackler Flotex, even though we both know how much we would benefit from them.